Hey there, everybody. Welcome to our first America's Got Talent Golden Buzzer discussion of the season. And Voices of Our City Choir, they have done it. They have gotten the buzzer from Terry Crews. Not only is this the second straight choir that Terry Crews has given a golden buzzer to on AGT proper, but it is his second choir with a really interesting story accompanied by Terry Crews giving some sort of like powerful monologue before he goes and presses it. Listen, if he was not going to press it, I was going to have to go up there and press it myself. Come on. We would have gotten in that time machine, like, back to this weird, That's strange right. time where there's this thing called, like, auditoriums that people are actually able to get in together, and we would have pressed that golden button. This, it's a powerful start to the show. We're going to have a separate video talking about everybody else soon, so stay tuned for that. And before... We dive in and discuss Voices of Our City Choir further. If you guys do like this video, give us a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more America's Got Talent coverage all season long. There was some really cool stuff that this choir did outside of the story, which we will definitely get into, but just... Singing wise, I thought it was super cool that they came on. They did an original song. I love that they did an original song that was sort of about them and what they're going through and all that. It just made it so much more powerful. Their voices, their energy, all of it. I was just, I was, I was in with it. It is a uniquely talented group of people. Yeah. And because this is the sort of thing, and I, I'm not going to sit here and say that they are the best singing choir that I've ever seen, because I don't think they are, but what I think that they provided is something that would make me want to watch them probably like 90% of the time over choirs that have better singers overall, because... This is something that I've sort of maybe learned through covering these shows as long as we have, is that it's not just about, you know, what you do right, it's what you make people feel. And it was the style of performance, it was the arrangement, it was that really cool sort of like spoken word interlude in the middle of it. I loved that so much. At first when they were singing, I was like, okay, this is good, this is good. And then that happened. And then they all just burst out even louder and bigger in song. I was just like, oh my goodness. Like it took it to that next level. It reminded me a lot of slam poetry, and yep. maybe it's the, just the inner poet in me. I was like, all right, we finally got something on AGT that I can connect with to a certain extent, because you're sure not seeing me, like, sticking things in my face and whatever <laughs> else that guy was doing earlier on in the show. But I, I loved a lot of the stuff that they contributed to this that made it feel like it was something that no other choir could do, because I feel like... You know, a lot of choirs that have similar voices, they can probably go up there and do something from, you know, on, from an opera, from Bocelli, yeah. like something along those lines. But I don't think anyone else other than Voices of Our City could actually go up there and do, I think what they said, it was Sounds of the Sidewalk. And that was kind of the refrain they kept going back to. Yeah, and that's, to me, what takes them, even though you're right, the voices are not at the same level as other choirs, but they bring something else to it, which is the power behind their story and bringing an original song I always think can be you know it's daring it is taking a huge risk I mean we saw some people tonight that came and just did covers and they did good jobs and and that's great but to come and actually pull out an original yeah. song like that and have it be good and have it be powerful that is not an easy feat I will admit this. When I saw that they had the big choir set up and then you had the guitar and then you had the drums, I was worried. I was starting to be, all right, this is a little bit busy. We've got a lot of different elements. I didn't know how it would mesh, but there is such an earthiness, I think, to them. And the thing that I think made this performance, it wasn't just the performance, but it was also after Terry pushes the golden buzzer and you see them get <laughs> emotional. I, and I, I have this weird thing where if I get really sad, I'll just go and I'll watch like 20 golden buzzer moments. Just I won't even watch the full performances all the time. Like sometimes I'll just watch the end result when someone plays the goal. I'll, I'll, I'll even go watch like the bad jokey Britain's Got Talent auditions that David Williams pushes it for just to annoy Simon. Just I love 
golden buzzer moments. Yeah, and you do. This one is this one is top tier. This is yeah, next no, level. Yeah, it was, and it was really well deserved. And I know that America's Got Talent and I don't a lot of these shows have sort of the the lean into the stories. And I've heard the criticism online that people are voting based on stories, and I don't believe it. I have never believed it. I think that a story lets us get to know who the person is. You still have to have the talent to back it up. And I think that as powerful as their story is their talent backs it up i they're just so good there's so much about them that i love i love the energy of the group i will i will admit that i have at times been a story cynic with a lot of these shows and i have sort of been in that place here or there where i've sort of i've raised these questions but you know i think it's probably just me getting older and getting balder and i've started to realize along the way that you know, it's actually, story goes into talent, and the two play a role because... They do. Had the had Voices of Our City not gone through what they have gone through, they would not be able to do <laughs> what it is that they did, which involved connecting to an audience, and you can go up there and be an incredible, incredible singer, and we have seen this. We have yep. seen people on singing shows that have incredible voices, but if their story is just... This has been my dream since I was a kid. It's like, great, yeah, congratulations. But that's not necessarily something that's going to make me want to root for you. you. You support art because a lot of cases you support the artist. You want the artist to succeed. And a lot of time art comes from your life experiences. People sing about their heartbreaks or their love or what's happened to them or their families or just what's inside of them. So having the experiences that this group of people have gone through and dealing with homelessness is a very serious problem that's going on and to be able to come together and seeing that guy breaking down about how singing and artistry, this is all like, helped save him there are artists everywhere that can relate just to what that guy said because it's absolutely true and it may not be saved you from being on the streets but it can save your spirit save you from a dark place save you from all these things what i'm gonna say now is if you are one of these people out there who is just like eh, they only got through because of their stuff get out like it, it is i agree it is a situation where the story <laughs> informs the act it makes the act unique it makes it special and it makes you want to root for them and at the end of the day america is still going to vote and i you know america we can be at times very sympathetic people but if they end up winning this show it's not just going to be because we're attached to their story. It's going to also be because we love what they do, what they contribute, because over time with this show, it does become more and more about the talent. Yeah, it does. And But it is also us getting to know them. You want to know who the people are that you're rooting for and that you're putting your votes on because... We've seen in the past other shows that there are people who are kind of like you said, you know, oh, it's just my dream. Okay, well, great. This is everybody's dream. Everybody's on the show yes. for that same reason. What else is there? Like, what else do you have? Why are you connected to your craft, what you're doing, what you're bringing to us? Like, I need to know more. And that's why shows like AGT or Idol, I end up getting myself a lot more invested in than something like The Voice, which doesn't really tell me anything about who I'm watching singing. It's just one great voice after another great voice after another great voice. I'm like, wow, I just saw 20 amazing voices tonight, but they're all starting to blend in because everybody's good. That's why they're on the show. Well, let's just give a kudos to the editing team because I think they did a good job of sort of establishing, okay, it's, there's too many people for us to get to know all of them, obviously, but yeah. here are a couple of standout stories. This is what they do. This is what the group has meant to them. Mm -hmm. Also, you know, we, we, we love San Diego. We're San Diego people. Maybe yeah, we're yeah. geographically <laughs> inclined to want to root for all of them to do really well, but... I really like them. I'm excited that they have the golden buzzer. I'm sure you know, we'll talk about this here or there. We don't know what the live shows are going to look like, how that's going to be this season. Yeah. I'm but, just yeah. also hoping that, that this 
performance is going to shed light on what is going on in the country right now. Like it is something, especially out here in California, homelessness is something that's really seriously badly going on here and there needs to be a change and to have people coming forward and telling their story of what's going on and how it's happened and well how the, how they've gotten to where they are now i think is something that people need to hear and i think especially and it's, it's a great point especially in a time kind of like this because i think with everything that is going on sort of separate from it yeah we all kind of insulate and i think we all have to sort of think okay I only can worry about me or the people immediately close to me, but there's still a much bigger world beyond all of that. And these problems are still existing and they may even be exacerbated by what's going on right now. So That's right. thank you, America's Got Talent, for that couple of really powerful performances in this episode. We've already talked about Archie and mm -hmm. I hope you guys check out that video reaction as well. Yep, we'll link it for you below. Yes, and... Overall, though, what did you guys think about Voices of Our City Choir, our first golden buzzer for season 15? Share in the comments, and if you do like this video, give us a like, subscribe, and you can support us further by checking the link in the description to the store. And we'll see you here next time.